Guys, it's early on a Saturday morning. I don't normally get up this early, but I wanted to see. I've never flown Mount Hermon first thing in the morning where the sun's hitting it from the uh, east. So that's what I'm gonna do. It's just before 8 a.m. Let's see uh, what we can get. All right, I made it out here. Check it out. This is what we're about to hit. All, all of this good stuff. Try to get out there, that's kind of far. And maybe make a run down this way, climb through these trees, and come back and land. So as I was unpacking, I realized that I forgot some of my other packs, but I do have one of these small five inch packs. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it a shot on uh, the seven inch and see how she does. It's only rated to 35 amps um, and we've only got 2,600 milliamps, but let's find out. Let's see, see what it does. I'm gonna hook her up and get her going. Uh, it's picking up a little bit of wind. I'm not super happy about that, but at least it's heading back in my direction, so getting home will be fast. But for some reason, I'm not sure what it is, right in this little section right here, I can never get GPS lock when I'm getting ready to arm. So I'm gonna walk it up a little ways and see if I can arm up there. But I don't know why, I think it's maybe because of this ridge or something. Super weird. Yeah, so that's all it took. She arms up fine just now, so I think I hear a car coming, so I'm gonna run back to the takeoff spot, and get her off the ground. Okay, cool, we're cruising at like 10 amps. So we've got 3.8 volts on the battery. Let's go ahead and fly up this way. Yeah, you can feel that wind. I don't know if you guys can hear it in the microphone or not, but it's not too bad. Woo! This is a beautiful morning. Yeah, we're getting some cross breeze right there on the top of the ridge. Oh, this is beautiful. RSSI is 60, doing pretty good. Man, this looks so much different uh, during the morning. I typically fly this spot like at sunset and I can never see any of this stuff for real because it's always in the shadow. Ooh wee! This is awesome. Let's go cruise this rock, this outcropping. Oh, baby. Oh, shit. That was nice. What we got here? Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Ooh, we're at 20. Let's try to cool it on the throttle. Man, those ghost branches are sketch. Dude. Three point five volts. Okay, so this is a 6S 18650, 35 amp pack. And I'm consistently around 20 amps when I'm climbing. But when I'm just cruising, it's like six, eight, ten. It's nothing really crazy. Oh wow, we're far. Woo! What are we? About a mile? 
All right, 39. Let's see if I can turn my head a little. 39 megabits. Doing pretty good. I'm in uh, 50 megabits per second. High quality mode. I just I normally fly in low latency, but for some reason. I decided to do high quality mode because I saw a video where a guy went like just miles. I think he went like six miles on DJI um, in 50 megabits high quality mode. So I thought I'd give it a shot and see if I got any better reception. It seems to be about the same, honestly. It's dropping out in, in the same places that it normally does. Oh, these. This is so beautiful. I'm not exactly sure where I am right now. Okay, we're at 3.4 volts. I'll probably start bringing her in at three volts because it's just a cruise down the mountain. Oh, look at that's a windsock for the paragliders. I guess that's where they launch. That's cool. Look at Pike's Peak up there, baby. That's nice. God, dude, that's a nice view, man. Wow. All right, let's see if we can find a spot to cruise down. Maybe like, oh shit. No, I don't want to be there. Guys, see all these like dead trees? Those are the sketchiest things to fly because you can never really tell where they are until you're like right up on them. So it's really important to pick your line well. Let me get my bearing here. Gosh, this 2600 milliamp pack is doing great. I'm at five minutes and I still have I'm at 3.4 volts. I'm gonna try to put, put these stats up on the, on the uh, display. Whoa, whoa, baby. Oh, that was sick. Let's cruise this one. Okay, guys, ready? Go ahead and see if you can see my drone that's down here. I think it hit like that tree right there. Let's see if I can see anything. I think it hit that tree. Uh, no. I was literally cruising that same path and it was sunset. And I hit one of these trees on this ridge. And you think like, okay, you can go up there and find it, but man, that scrub oak is absolutely insane. It's like 10 feet tall and it's like, man, it's, I don't know. It's like climbing through Jumanji or something. This is a cool path right here. Let's see if we can cruise it. Oh, baby. Oh, that's sick. So we're cruising at 50 right now. And there's a tree, there's a tree. Got a lot of glare in this camera. Let's go check out these this aspen grove. This Aspen Grove is like the coolest thing because when you're flying, it doesn't look too crazy. Uh, but then when you're actually like down there in person, those freaking trees are massive. You feel like a little, like, I don't know, like an insect or something, just walking around in the grass blades. Like it's, they're huge. Can we go? No, I don't know if I want a chance. We're at seven minutes of flight time. And remember, a lot of that was climbing. So um, I'm really impressed with this 6S 2600 pack on, on this drone. Uh, I didn't think it would be able to fly it, really, because I figured the amp draws might be too, too great. But uh, it's not. It's doing, I mean, we're at like 20 amps right now and we're climbing. We're at 900 feet elevation difference. Let's just cruise. 
Let's do the full cruise one more time. Come up over this ridge. I gotta turn my head so that I can get angle. Oh guys, this is beautiful. Look at this. Look at how gorgeous. This is one of the best parts of FPV flying. 3.2 volts. Eee. Oh man. 44 megabits. Ooh, 30. 50 RSSI. Just cruising around. Bring her back. And let's cruise down this way, just for the hell of it. That's where I am, that road down there. Let's do a straight shot. below that little ridge, so we dropped down to eight megabits on the bit rate. Guys, we're at three volts and we're at nine minutes, and a lot of that was just climbing. So I think the moral here is that you don't need like one of the larger packs. If you wanted to save some money, uh, you know, you could get one of these smaller packs and still cruising around just fine. Uh, I gotta try to land this fast so that way I don't kick up a bunch of dirt. Ay, 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 ay. Come on, come on. Come on, wind. Guys, that was 10 minutes. Cruising. 10 minutes cruising up that. Uh, I think that did pretty good. All right, guys, what did you think? Pretty good? Pretty decent? I'm surprised this little 6S 18650 pack from Lion RC is uh, doing so well. I'm not trying to plug it, but I'm, I'm actually really shocked that that thing was able to fly like that on a seven inch. Uh, it didn't feel any different than, you know, the larger, the larger packs, except it didn't have quite as much flight time, but I mean, 10 minutes is still pretty respectable. Ah gotta plug this guy back in it thinks that we're lost one two three there we go so let me know what you thought of that flight um, that was a nice cruise we went all the way up this way all the way down all the way down all the way out to that far outcropping and then kind of made our way back so that was fun I'm gonna load on another throw on another pack and fly again but let me know what you thought of the flight in the comments. If you like these longer flight videos, I don't know, I need 10 minutes is kind of long, but, but let me know. Y'all have a good one.